What's up, guys? Welcome to Straight From The Chest. My name is Justin Groff. Guys, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for giving me your listening ear. Thank you for tuning in with me. Thank you for giving me your time. It means a lot to me. The fact that you would spend a second listening to, listening to me means a lot. So the fact that you're here, I'm very grateful for you. And if you've been listening to me for any length of time and you support me, then obviously, you know, I'm indebted to you. That's just a very, very important thing for me to, to express. Um, I want to touch on a topic today that <clears throat> I find is kind of underlooked and it really, it really starts with the fact that, you know, I guess the question is, you've been asked this, you've been asked this question and the question is, do you think you're capable of great things? And if you're a Christian, you've been told you're capable of great things with God, like you're capable of these things. And so <clears throat> you end up thinking, yeah, I'm capable of great things. Like if somebody were to ask you that, unless you're in the slums of your life and there's, you're in so much despair and depression just rules over you, then you clearly believe that you, that you probably believe that if that's not you, that you are capable of great things. But that seems like, it, it, that seems very fleeting to say that. Because sure, you can say, I'm capable of great things. Or I believe I'm capable of great things. And then that's it. But what do you do with it? And do you really believe that? And even if you were to really believe that you're capable of great things, do you think it? Do you think it on a daily basis? Do you think it on a weekly basis? Do you even think it on a monthly basis? One time a month, do you think, I, I, I'm capable of great things? Like, yeah, I know that. Do you think it on an hourly basis? If you don't think this on an hourly basis, or let's say, if you don't think this at least 10 times in the day that you're awake, I think you're short-sighting your greatness capabilities. It's one thing to say, <clears throat> I'm capable of great things and have that as an overarching theme of your life. But then you tuck it under the rug, so to speak. You don't really do anything with it. It's just kind of a belief that you have. And beliefs are great, but they're nothing if you don't actively pursue them. And they're nothing if you don't actively exercise them. So if you believe in God, let's say, but you don't, you don't, you're not encouraged to have a relationship, a relationship with him or you don't talk to him. You just say, yeah, I believe in God, but you don't pray. You don't have any kind of relationship that you're trying to build with him. You don't talk to him. You don't go to church. You're not listening to sermons online or, or whatever. You're not, you're, not, you're not actively engaged. You're not exercising your relationship with him. Then what good is that belief doing for you? You can say that I believe in him and have that as the theme of your life and your little, your little belief. That's fine. But if you're not actively pursuing it, exercising it, what good is it? You have to think about these things. You have to think about, I got to talk to God. You got to, you got to, you got to think about, I have to pray. I want to, you don't have to, but you should want to, because you should want to exercise that belief system and you should want to, you should want to capitalize on it. You should want to augment it. And so the same thing goes for your life. If you believe you're capable of great things, but then just basically sweep it under the rug as it, as it is what it is, and you don't think about it on a daily basis, hourly basis, you're not thinking about what you're good at, what you're great at, 
You're not, you're not reinstilling this confidence in you. Then it's just going to be that. It's going to be a belief and it's going to be something that you sweep under the rug and you just have it as a feel good belief. That doesn't do shit for you or for anybody that could otherwise be impacted with your great capabilities. You're so great at something. You're so great. Then why don't you act on it? If you believe you're capable of great things, start thinking about them. And another aspect of the thought process is probably you're limiting what you think about. You're limiting the, uh, the, the element of the thought. So let me give you an example. I believe I'm capable of great things, but I'm going to think about what that looks like on a very low level scale because a I don't want to get my hopes up so much that because when it doesn't if it doesn't come to pass I won't be that committed to, to it because it's not really something that I'm putting that much of an emphasis on and I'm not really expecting that big of a thing to happen so my expectations don't get met not a big deal because they're low anyways I don't want to get let down so I don't want to ex I don't want to expect something that is so high in demand that it probably it likely won't happen. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to think bigger. I want you to take the limits off of what you think you can attain. And here's the thing. You're not going to do this because you don't want to let yourself down. You're not going to do this because you also don't think it could ever happen to you because it didn't happen for anybody in your family. It doesn't happen, it hasn't, and it doesn't happen to the people that are around you, that you hang out with, that you associate with, that you socialize with. So it's not going to happen for you. And that's also, that can be actively a cancer. If you think you're capable of great things, A, think about them more prominently. When I mean, when I say that, I don't mean keep it as a belief system and then that's it. Think about what you're great at, what you think you can be great at, and do it perpetually, every day. Not once a week, not when anybody asks you, do you think you're capable of great things? You ponder it for a second, yes I am, and then it just, that's it, it dissipates. Actively think about it every day. If you're not exercising these things, if you're not actively pursuing what you think you're great at, you're not going to be great at anything and it's just going to remain a belief system and that's going to be fleeting and meaningless. A part of the problem why we have people that are in depression, other than the fact that it, there's, a, there's a serotonergic effect that is obviously not met uh, within their physiological state. But a part of the fact that, well, part of how people become depressed is they lack meaning or drive or, or direction in life. And as human beings, we want and need direction. We need a narrative over our life. We need purpose. We need pursuit. If we're not actively pursuing these things or we're not actively engaged in activity that drives these elements, then we feel like we're doing nothing. And if we're doing nothing, we feel like we're not useful. And if we're not useful, we don't feel competent. And then there goes our confidence. And not just our confidence, but there goes our steam. We, we will end up losing steam. And then we'll end up losing worth in our life, like worth for what we can actually do. So you need a direction, but you're not always gonna find direction. You're not always going to find a, a path that serves you. You're not always going to be in a season that's growing and it's, and, and, and it's blossoming. You're not always going to be in that season. You're going to have seasons of incline and seasons of decrease. And then seasons where you're just an idol. And it seems like nothing is getting accomplished. And it's even going to be worsened or it will be, it will be rather...
it'll be, it'll be, I'll just use this word, it'll be worsened when you don't think about the things that you could be great at, the things that you are innately great at, the things that are implicit to you that you know you are really, really, really good at. And if you don't think about these things, and if you don't actively pursue whatever that is, that could be anything, then you're consistently going to feed into the negative levels of what you weren't supposed to be, what you're not meant to be. You're gonna be feeding that person. But if you go on the opposite end of the spectrum and you actually consistently tell yourself, look, I think this, that, and the other. I think this, that, and the other. I think this, 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 this. I know, and then that becomes a no. The more you think it, the more you're actively giving pursuit and energy to that, to that narrative. And because of that, that's going to consume who you are psychologically, which is going to redirect your aim towards that particular thing that you innately are great at and that you actively want to pursue. That's one way to get out of depression when you're at a low level depression. Like they're not, I'm not talking about neurochemically. Okay. Cause we can bounce back from states of depression and we can, you know, fluctuate in and out the, the, the average person. But if you have an actual neurochemical deficiency, then that needs to be taken up with a doctor. And that, that is a real thing. Like you can't just serve some people. You can't say, Hey, listen, motherfucker, snap out of it. That just doesn't work. So, but for most of us, when we're in states of feeling like low levels of worth and like we're not being utilized, like we have nothing of utility when we do. The biggest thing you can do is continuously think and exercise the component of thinking that I am great at something. I'm great at something. And that may seem very kind of overcasted, arbitrary, but it's not. And it's not because you know, you know what you're good at. You just suppressed it for so long. You just don't think big enough. You don't exercise this particular avenue that you should have been fucking exercising years ago. And that's the reason why you don't have as much as you could have. And I don't mean material wise. I mean, progressive evolutionary wise. Like you haven't evolved as the person that you could be because of this concept that you're lacking. And trust me, it bleeds into many orifices of your life. It's not just like you being the best progressive you It'll lead into what you put in your fucking mouth, what you choose to do in your day to day, your social activities, how you project your energy or what energy you do project to others, which then can tarnish or not grow the particular relationship that you're projecting onto. You see how all these things are tethered together. But it's the root substrate here is you and only you starts with you. And if there is no direction and there is no confidence associated with a directive in life, then it will fray into other areas of your being and it will contaminate you like a fucking virus far worse than anything COVID can do. Because if you don't think that people aren't taking themselves out because of their depression, you're mistaken. That's a real thing. And I really, really, really believe. And you don't have to go along with me with this, but I really believe that it starts with the fact of us thinking or not thinking and just having a belief is not good enough. You have to exercise that belief structure. 
You have to actively exercise it and nourish it. And if you're not doing those things, then you're not going to really actively be what you could be. You're not really going to tap into your character talents or the gifts that are infused in you. You're not really going to tap into those things. You're not thinking enough. You need to think about it more often. It's not enough to just believe. You have to think it a lot, all the time, every fucking day. There's a saying, you think, therefore you are, or you think not, therefore you are not. That's like the Sesame Street version of what I'm saying, but it's basically applicatory. It's true. There are a lot of opportunities that are waiting for you. There are a lot of doors that are waiting to be opened by you. There are a lot of streets that are already paved that are waiting for you to fucking drive down them. They're waiting. But it starts with you having the belief system, but thinking on that belief system daily, perpetually, hourly, all day. That is your fuel. That's what's going to cause you to redirect your aim and go in the pathway that these doors and opportunities exist in. If you effectively omit that, you're omitting a lot of possible opportunities and doors that are waiting for you. Don't miss out on those opportunities. Ever. Done.